All right, so let's look at Raspberry Pi this morning. I think I got another case for it. I made a little custom case for it too, because it keeps overheating on me. So we'll talk about that too. And I think it's in here is my other case. We'll see. Let's get some things set up here and then we'll... All right, so I'm going to go to I made a custom case for now. I'll show you what I did. It's not too bad. It's an Intel fan right here. See, it, it was for a seller, but it fit right on top of here. But I got something else that came in, so uh, let's do some stuff here. Uh, what's that? I have 3D printers. I've got two 3D printers, although I have yet to 3D print anything. So anyway, so this is my little fan. It's a heat sink. It was for a Celeron. It's brand new. And it runs on top of my Raspberry Pi because it was really hot. I'm trying to do my old project journeyman overnight. So I just got hooked up to 5 volts just to give it a little bit cooler. Because I was waiting for something else to come in, but it's in now, I think. So we'll find out that out in a minute. Let's let's turn this on. I just put this on yesterday here. See? Put a fan. So now I got that running cool off. It's it's a heat sink. It's for CPU. But this is a F F L I R C case for the Raspberry Pi. It's just passive. So it's just one aluminum block basically. And it kept, it was overheating. I was trying to run two PYs, two PY codes for my project journey over overnight. And I run it for about 12 hours and it was kicking off. So I found this. It's like, what? This is brand new. It's nice and quiet. But we're going to look at what I got in that bag in a minute. 